Hey guys, Adam Retro Moments here, and uh, today we're going to talk about arcade games that are still fun to play in 2021. So this is my good friend Marty here, and he's actually not new to the channel. We uh, actually went to Hey Stockholm, the arcade place, one time earlier, where we did like kind of fast video. It was more like a showcase just to see how it looks like in there. And this time around, we actually went back to talk about the games that we uh, like in there. Yeah, yeah, we did. Actually, some new games as well that yeah. weren't there when we started the first one. Exactly. So we tried to actually go back and try to review the games that were there. Mm. But to our surprise, there were some new games as well. Some were better, I would yeah. say, and yeah, some sure. were actually worse as well. They removed the Metal Slug, which is personally one of my favorite arcade games yeah, that you can play. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Me too. It's Yeah, how could they so, do that? So they, they changed it with like a Space Invader kind of thing. Yeah. That wasn't too good yeah opinion. we're not sure about that game because it, it felt like a very early space shooter mm. kind of and it mm. was it wasn't really good at all so, but anyway let's talk about the first game which is uh, outrun 2 mm -hmm. coast to coast so <laughs> the, it's called coast yeah to coast. I, know, I know i know i know yeah yeah that's yeah. what it's called uh, so what did you think about the game I love that game yeah i love it's honestly it's fun that we start with my favorite game yeah. of the place uh, for those that you don't, won't know, you will probably see a little short clip of how the game looks yeah, uh, when we played it. Yeah. But basically, it's a, an arcade racing game from Sega. Mm -hmm. It's a very fun arcade style racing game, yeah, as I said. Yeah, definitely. Uh, what I like about it is it's just it's just pure fun. You're basically a driver yeah. and you have this girl in, in your the next seat or the passenger seat that you're trying to impress yeah. so you the faster you go the more you slide like when you do a drift they actually do like woo! yeah you get happy uh one of the fun sides but also a very negative part of the game though mm. is you got this well a lot of old games have this bungee jump uh, yeah. effect which is basically when when if adam is in front of me and he's going faster and i slow down yeah. what it does it makes me go faster so it pulls me towards him. So basically, it's not about skill, who wins, but if you're, mm -hmm. how, how you do to actually win the game is basically, you try to be in front of as long as you can, but yeah. right at the end, you try to go to second place, so you can do the overlap and win. Yeah. Uh, so we had a lot of fun doing that, trying to experiment, like how to win and not to win. Yeah. Uh, we even tried when, uh, I crashed the car and just waited for a couple of seconds while Adam drove yeah. and I basically caught up to you within 15 seconds yeah, exactly. even though he was actually driving perfect yeah um, I mean the comfort of shares might also be improved yeah. in, in the arcade place itself but overall just a really really fun game that if you're there you should actually try uh, as long as you don't make it competitive because it's not a competitive game. It's an arcade no, game. But I also think that's like the, the driving force with this game is that anyone can play it. You don't have to yeah. be good at racing yeah. games um, because of that mechanic that mm -hmm. he just explained. Uh, and because of that, it actually is really fun. Like yeah. every time you play it, it's really fun because it's always going to be somewhat even, you know? Yeah. And you just have to be a decent driver. Like obviously if you, if you don't hit the accelerate you know pedal mm. and if you don't steer the right ways you're not gonna go anywhere but <laughs> other than that you know if you just drive in yeah. a decent manner you're, you're gonna go yeah. just a positive outweigh like if you're a competitive person i actually want to be like i'm the better one if i'm better i'm gonna win this yeah. is not the game for you in an arcade hall but the way i see it you you have a couple of drinks maybe yeah, yeah, if yeah you, they, they sell beer at the place as well or alcohol yeah. so you have a couple of beers it's just a fun game like overall it's just really really fun which is yeah. the big selling point for me because i i don't need to win at an arcade hall like that it's not when a, no. it's not like when you for example play a, a game of call of duty on a pc right now it's like all about winning this is just you're just having fun with the game. Exactly. And I could talk about this game for a lot longer, but it's, yeah, it's definitely. a really good game. Yeah. So what, out of 10 points, how much would you give this? Like, uh, how, how much fun is I, it so, in 2021? Yeah, so so, so, so uh, for me, a uh, 10 out of 10 is very rare. I want everyone to think about that, because a 10 out of 10, that's a yeah. perfect game. That's basically a game I could sit and play for 12 hours. Uh, I don't care if I spend 20 euros or $25, whatever currency you use. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't care about that. but. Uh, 
still the amount of fun and how much we actually spent there, I would still say that it's a definitely an eight out of ten, which is really good yeah. for my scale. Uh, so it's it's a great game. Uh, yeah. No way is perfect, but it's damn fun. That's, yeah, that's, that's the truth. For me, I would just compare it to other racing games mm -hmm. and how fun they are. Uh, to to you know base my grading off that. So I, I would almost give it a 9 out of 10 because I can't really think about another racing game that is this much fun, you know, like, yeah. and the only minus point would be that effect, you know, when it, it's so easy to catch up, yeah. but you know, it's the positive thing about that is that it's always gonna make for a fun time, you know, yeah. Like you're never gonna be yeah. so much after the other person that yeah. you're gonna yeah. give up. You know? Yeah, that's a that's a that's a good point actually. Yeah. You're never gonna give up because you can always just keep on driving. Exactly. Uh, but I agree with the whole competitive spirit of it. It doesn't matter who's the best, but that's yeah. the negative and the positive part. So because just in one, like in one game, I think the last game that we played, I was like at the number one spot like pretty much all the time. Yeah, all of the checkpoints. Yeah. There are diff different checkpoints throughout exactly. the game. Exactly. And yeah. you caught up in the end. Yeah, because and you won. Yeah, because I waited yeah. until <laughs> right at the end, and I would just go. Yeah, yeah. crazy. Yeah. It was fun. Super yeah. fun. Yeah, highly yeah. recommend. So if you're in, uh, at uh, Haze.com, I would definitely recommend going there with a friend, and that's yeah. one of the first games you should play because I really do believe it's uh, it's a mood booster for the rest of the evening. Yeah, definitely. And hopefully there are other arcades out there that also has this game. Yeah. Uh, and if not, if you have an arcade out there somewhere, maybe you should take a look at this game. Yeah, yeah please comment because we actually want to know if there's other places. We yeah. just we can have like a little checklist so we would know <laughs> wherever would awesome. we go yeah. together. Yeah, yeah. And the second game we were uh, playing was Darius Burst. Mm -hmm. Darius, known for their uh, shoot 'em up games, space shooters. Yeah. Uh, and this one was the the latest one, I think, with the free screens. Yeah, Marty, can you tell me what, what you thought about it? Uh, I thought it was special. Yeah. Uh, first of all, it's a very, very beautiful machine and a very beautiful game. Uh, the way the graphics are, the the artwork, the the sprites are amazing, actually. Uh, the way they have, they have a three three screens. They're basically widescreen, yeah. and also underneath a reflective screen of the screen upwards. Uh, that actually took some time getting used to how the yeah. second screen, because sometimes I like to be focused at the game. So when you try to look down while you're playing, it can get somewhat weird, and you yeah. can somewhat get confused. Uh, it wasn't the best game. Again, the graphics absolutely beautiful. Yeah, the power ups, all of that. Yeah. Uh, for me, it just wasn't a fun game to play with the side-scrolling theme of the Space yeah. Invader kind of thing. Um, but I w overall, it's a good game, and if you if yeah. you are there, you should try it. But um, not not the best game there for me, for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. interesting. So, what did you think about the game? Um, yeah, I I'm not really sure because uh, I think I felt a little bit confused about the. <laughs> about the screen on the bottom that is reflective, but I guess you're just supposed to, you know, feel like you're in the game. You know, you're s supposed to. I, I guess that's the thing with the whole free screen thing, and then the reflective screen underneath. Mm -hmm. You know, that you're supposed to be immersed into the game. Yeah. You know, yeah, and into the gameplay. And uh, I like these kind of shoot 'em ups, um, but I think that there are much better shoot 'em ups out there actually. Yeah. Uh, but but it's fine for what it is. The control is very tight, and I don't know. I overall enjoyed it, but there are better shoot 'em up games there. So what would you rate the game? Like, so I, I would yeah, I would give this a uh, seven. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad at all. It's no. just that there's way better shooters mm -hmm. out there. And what about you? I'd probably give it a six. A uh, six. Yeah, yeah. A six. But yeah. uh, a lot of those points are actually for the graphics alone. Uh, right. Maybe I also honestly just need to be better at the game to enjoy it a little bit more. Uh, be it, yeah. But compared to some of the other arcades when you pay the same price, because basically all the arcades there are the same price. Yeah. So for what you're getting worth, it's still worth, but it's, um, it's a six out of 10 for me. And the third game that we tried was actually a game that we did play uh, uh, quite a few times mm -hmm. uh, when we went there the first time. And that's uh, Street Fighter 3, The Third Strike which is, uh, I think it's an excellent fighting game. What do you think about it? Uh, you know, I know Street Fighter isn't the most popular game out there. I'm not sure any of you actually have heard of it. It's uh, <laughs> quite rare. Yeah, uh, sure. 
for me, it's it's a it's just a great game, one of the best fighting games out there. Uh, obviously, it holds the test of time and the fact that we still play it in the basically the same kind of graphics, sometimes with the 16-bit on the SNES, yeah. and then now with the arcades where the sprites and artwork are a little bit better. But just the fact that people are still playing tournaments to this day oh, yeah. with the sure. Street Fighter, uh, just a great game. Uh, yeah. I, I could honestly one of those thing, games I could talk about for hours. Yeah. Uh, I'm not that great at fighting games. Um, I know. Yeah, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I my favorite are usually Tekken and some of the other more PlayStation esque yeah. kind of games. Some of the more but mainstream it's the, fighting but, uh, games. But yeah. Uh, as you guys can, will probably see at this footage, we're having a blast and it really gets competitive. Uh, even though it's not that even, it's just uh, it's really fun to play with Adam and uh, any game where we can actually compete with each other like this and uh, with such amazing controls and uh, artwork, sprites, uh, different characters, uh, just an amazing game and uh, definitely holds up the test of time. Uh, yeah, def I should definitely add that we're playing this on the Sega Astro City, which yes. is uh, quite famous, you know, in the arcade scene. And uh, I don't know, to me, it has some of the best joysticks and buttons you know, oh, that there is. Yeah, yeah. that's uh, actually good that you bring that up. That's very, very true. We've played a lot of different games, different arcade games, yeah. a lot of fighting arcade games on some of Adam's consoles he has here. has a lot of different uh, arcade yeah. sticks and uh, with the SNK and all of that. It's um, th these arcade sticks and just the way it's built. Yeah. Is perfect honestly yeah, it's, pretty it's, much it's pretty much perfect yeah. like i wouldn't trade this arcade machine like if it's any other fighting game i would want to use these kind of buttons you right. it's very very nice yeah, i agree about that actually uh, but overall the like the game everything it's another eight out of ten for me uh eight out of ten eight out of ten basically yeah. like it's a must play every time you go there yeah like if, if we ever go if we go again it's that's what we're gonna play and, and just as a final question if you would compare street fighter 3 to street fighter 2 which one do you think is better and uh, why oh definitely three for yeah. me yeah okay uh, yeah. since i didn't grow up with the games like a lot of people actually did yeah. Uh, 3 was one of the first Street Fighter games I actually played, so right. I got kind of got attached to that. Right. Uh, played the one on Xbox 360 as well, but compared to the second ones, I just think the controls are better. Yeah. And uh, yeah. just overall the sprite work, the artwork is, is better. Yeah, I, I definitely agree about that, but uh, Street Fighter 2 has a soft spot for me because, mm -hmm. I mean, I grew up with it. Yeah. I had it on SNES when I was younger. <laughs> And uh, it's just where the whole fighting uh, games thing started for me, you know. Yeah. Uh, but uh, if I should uh, give this a grade, uh, I would, uh, I would probably give it eight out of ten. Yeah, it's yeah. it's a really good fighting game. I I didn't play Street Fighter Three much back in the day, overall. Uh, but I actually really like it. It's it's definitely an upgrade. It's a worthy upgrade from Street Fighter Two. That's that's for it's sure. It's definitely a worthy upgrade. Yeah. yeah. And the fourth game we played was Tekken Unlimited, Tekken Tag Tournament Two. And uh, yeah, Marty, what do you have to say about it? I love Tekken. Yeah. I just love Tekken. I, I this is Tekken was one of the first games I played on the PS One. Right. Uh, me and my brother played the hell out of that game. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, again, kind of like you with Street Fighter, that has a special place in my heart. Um, again, another game that holds up the test of time, but a little bit different, yeah. since it's not as old as Street Fighter. Right, this one is still pretty new, I think. Yeah, yeah. and the fact that they upgraded with the current graphics is a... I think it's good and also bad in a way. Uh, the fact... Yeah, that, yeah it, the thing is... Sometimes it can get too much with yeah. everything going on. Okay. Uh, I think that's a problem with a lot of newer games. Right. Uh, and why I don't think they are as successful. Too much flickering yeah, and power ups. And, flickering, yeah. mo uh, yeah. too much in the background that actually blends in with the current graphics right. and all of that. Yeah. Um, and when I'm at the arcade, I kind of want to play more of an arcade ish kind of games. And Tekken for me, there right. is. Uh, it's a little bit too modern. It might. It's just that's <laughs> just the modern. way. Yeah, it's just the way it is. Yeah. But it's a great game. Yeah, I, I I I have to say that too. Like I I usually go for the retro fighters, but 
there's something about Tekken that's still mm. like all the Tekken games are good to me. Yeah. There's not a no, bad not Tekken a bad, game. No. There probably is one obscure that I don't know about, but yeah. like the ones that I've played and uh, no. Right. If, if there is a bad Tekken game, I'm so, sure someone <laughs> will tell us. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, Maybe the first Tekken actually, because like it was very stiff. Like yeah. I used to have it on the PS1 and it's, it's really stiff and but it doesn't it, have many characters and the graphics are not good at all. Uh, I can't agree there. I, I mean, uh, that's the building stone of what Tekken but is from, today. From Tekken 2 and on forward, yeah. it, it's really good. Uh, but uh, to get back at the topic, the machines yeah. are great. The artwork, how it looks, it's a big machine. Yeah. Uh, there's no issue with frame rates. There's no issue with how the control works. Again, um, the way the sticks feels on these machines are also just yeah again Namco just all, always has some good sticks as well so. yeah so it's a great machine and again one we always play when we're there yeah but not as much as street fighter so that's that's just a fact so in that regard i gotta give it a seven out of ten even though tekken is actually my preferred game over street fighter so yeah for me it's a you're story. thinking about it in, in an arcade yeah you know? when i'm at when i'm at, when I'm at an arcade yeah uh, you that, want that's the, yeah right exactly you want the arcade games yes yeah yes okay yeah that's quite interesting because i would give it 7.5 because i still enjoy it a lot mm -hmm. um but but i guess it comes down to uh, what you said that it's not my it's not the game that i would go to I would not go to an arcade because of Tekken, you know? No. That, that's the yeah, thing. That's a, that's it's a real good game, but I'm not there to play Tekken. No, that's true. Uh, but it's yeah. a great addition to have. I think yeah. having, having Tekken in an arcade hall is pretty... Yeah, definitely. Yeah. You can tell that a lot of people are always going and playing that one. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's about it. This is going to be the part one of this mm -hmm. series. If you guys like this series, please comment down below and uh, give it a like. That would help out a lot. Yeah. And uh, if you guys want to see a part two of this, where we're talking about more arcade games in uh, our local arcade here in Stockholm, then uh, let us know. That would yeah. be great, right? Yeah, yeah but, thank you so much for inviting me. I had a blast. It's just yeah. always fun to hang out with you. So thank yeah. you for that. Yeah, I, I can just thank you back yeah. right after. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. See I you guys the next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>